hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we have this dell laptop this is dell inspiron 7306 two in one so this is a touch screen laptop this laptop originally has a damaged usb board type c board the customer said that they replaced it but it still did not charge so let's see together if we can fix it i want to inspect uh, their job okay so the laptop is opened as you can see the battery is disconnected i have the battery here they brought it separately here it is okay so the type c connector is this one so they said that they replaced this type c connector let's let's see how did they do on replacing it okay so here is the type c let's go under the microscope to check as you can see it's not original okay the traces from the connector they are actually looking good they are not ripped everything looks okay so let's see let's okay let's uh, connect the power so this is the charger they brought the charger okay the meter is coming on actually we have 5 volts 140 milliamps this is not a good voltage as you can see 5 volts 0.14 amps so 140 milliamps so there might be something wrong with this laptop actually not just the charger uh, the charger adapter or I mean uh, the type C connector let's go under the thermal camera and see if there is anything getting hot I don't know if the BD controller is on this side of this board it might be one of these ICs okay so we have something here getting hot let me point out so it's this one it's this IC that IC is getting hot so that IC might be the BD controller let me check it so this is the IC and this IC is actually burnt there is a hole on this IC as you can see here we have a hole on this IC okay so this IC is burnt definitely not good IC so this IC is CYPD 6127 let me check this IC okay so this is the IC CYPD 6127 it's actually a BD controller as you can see it's 
type C board controller. So yeah, this IC is the BD controller. Let me check if I do have this IC. Okay, so I managed to find this IC. I do have this IC CYPD6127. So let's replace this IC. Bin 1 will be at this arrow. Here is an arrow as you can see. This is the arrow, so this is bin 1. Do we need to take the board out? Let me check. I need to cover some points. For example, here we have close to it the keyboard connector. And also we have a plastic case of the as you can see here we have the IC this is the IC that we need to replace and this is the plastic parts of the laptop so we need to cover this okay let's take it out The IC is out, let's bring a new one and install it and hope it works. Okay, so I replaced this IC. Let's wait for it to cool down a little bit. Okay, so it's cold. Let's try and uh, Connect the power meter again. We need to connect the battery actually. Okay, so the battery is connected. The meter is coming on. We have 20 volts. 20 volts at 0 0.05. Let's wait for it. We have a flashing light here. It's now 0 0.34, 1.2, 1.9, 5 amps. So yeah, it is charging. We managed to fix this computer. Went to zero. Why? Now 0 0.9, 1.6, 1.9, 1 1.9, 1.8 so it is charging actually and this IC is not hot anymore if we check the voltage of the battery now it's charging at 20 volts 1.4 amps I think the laptop is on actually I can feel the CPU is hot let's check the voltage of the battery seven point nine three you can't see this Seven point nine four. Let's wait for it. 
and yeah it is rising up 7.95 7.96 and it is rising up so the laptop is actually charging okay let me put back these two screws The battery needs to be inserted from the back first, then the screws will hold it from the front. The fan is spinning and the CPU is hot. Seven point nine eight. So yeah, the voltage is rising up. It's a bit slow, but it is rising up. And as you can see, we have display. It says warning: battery is critically low. Time of day not set. Please run setup program. Invalid configuration information. Please run setup program. Let's go to. Or I mean, can we turn it off? Yes, it is off. Let's wait for it. I want to see the charging amps. It's charging at 20 volts, 0 0.9 amps. Let me show you. One volts 0 0.9 amps so yeah it is charging let's check the battery voltage again seven point nine eight let's wait for it a little bit I want to see it going up this battery should have how much? Seven point six volts. Seven point six volts. So is it fully charged actually? I think it is. Seven point nine eight. And it's charging at zero point nine amps okay let's put the cover back i think i saw screws in the back here here they are two screws where did they took them from One is white, like the one on the M.2 SSD, like this one. And I can see one and two holding the motherboard, exactly the same as this one. And a tiny screw, this one, as you can see. A tiny screw, I don't know where does that also goes. I think I will leave them out and I will tell them that they need to put them back. Okay. So yeah, we fixed this laptop. Let's try and turn it on again. It turned on by itself when I opened it as you can see it's loading the windows 
Okay, so we managed to fix this laptop by replacing the BD controller I see this one. So if you like this repair, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope I can see you in another video. Thank you so much.